my parents never even thought about climbing a mountain. That didn't ever cross their head. They came to the United States searching for the American dream. Vinimos aquí oiga, para mejorar nuestras vidas. Quiero mis hijos más aquí por tienen un mejor futuro que yo. I could always see the mountains, these big volcanoes. Never really thought I would be summoning St. Helens with my brothers. There it is. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm a little bit nervous. There's a bunch of snow right now, so it's gonna be something very different, something new. Oh yeah, it feels like it's right there, within reach. Growing up, this has basically been my backyard. All these orchards, and beyond the orchards is the forest, and that's where me and my siblings would spend most of our time. The forest was magical. We would go in there and thought that the spirit animals were talking to us or we were talking to them. So when my parents moved to Oregon, what they were thinking about was getting education for their kids, having food on the table every night. Until you have those basic needs, you can't really think about doing all the fun things. That's, that's a privilege that we got as kids. I loved collecting magazines. I remember all the clips that I would collect of these people with their backpacks and their gear. And they were all white people. I always saw people that didn't look like me, like physically. It, it was, I lit literally felt like it was not for me. Like I wouldn't have the right shoes, I wouldn't have the right clothes, and I didn't want to go because it was embarrassing. And I didn't even know how to go. And many Latinos still feel that same way, that they can't access those places. If you were Latino and you were walking around the valley, there was a lot of stigma attached to that. Like, you either didn't have a car, somebody left you somewhere, or you were running away. I had heard that Oregon had all these hikes, but I didn't really know how to access them. Like, just Google it, waterfalls, and then find the trail. As soon as I had all the information that I needed to access all these hikes, I started going on a lot of hikes. Oh, this belongs to me. It belongs to everybody. I kind of took ownership of that and ran with it and started telling everyone. And sharing that information was just overwhelming. Everybody was texting me. Yes, how do I get to that one hike you just went on last week? Yes, you have to take us on hikes. How did you get there? What was the exit that you took? What did I need? And ever since, it's been nonstop. It's been so beautiful to see that more and more Latinos are outdoors. in a very unique position where I'm bicultural. Their plan was that we would stick to our Mexican roots, that we wouldn't forget what it was like to have tortillas every day and just frijoles, and to love the music. And we learned to grow up like that and to appreciate those kinds of things. And I feel so fortunate to be able to jump from one world to another. Sí, eh, ella nos ha enseñado oiga, todo esto de, de andar en la montaña y hiking y todo esto. Nos ha, nos ha abierto las puertas y nos ha enseñado, y no nomás a nosotros, a más familias también.
El sueño americano, yo lo pienso para mis hijos, no para mí. One day we'll all go on this really awesome like family vacation. But I guess <laughs> everything I do is because of you guys and <laughs> like all your sacrifices. And I always think about both of you every time I do something because I do it for you. I just can't wait. I am here and I'm here to stay and I'm here to enjoy it for the rest of my life. Me llamo Yesenia Castro and you'll definitely be seeing more of me out here.